finish up the train ride. I'll take you over to the Sky Ride or the Ferris wheel. We're going to check it out. Um, thank you for your patience. Didn't realize, didn't even get a warning that my phone was going to die. I would have put it in uh, savior mode. We're on the train, taking a little bit of time on the train. There's the comet coaster. Welcome back in, Ian. Yeah, I switched devices because my other device actually died. I was like, wait, the screen went black. I'm, I'm glad you came back. I know you guys could be doing something else on a Friday night or watching another channel on a Friday night. We'll finish up the train ride. And if, I, if the gimbal doesn't die on me, I'll either do the Sky Ride or the um, Ferris wheel, depending on the line of the Sky Ride. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can watch the Avs, the Avalanche possibly win the Stanley Cup tonight. And like I said, this is all the picnic groups that they have out. So if you wanted to bring a picnic or a cooler with beverages and stuff and snacks, you can um, do that here because they got a lot of picnic groups. Hello, Team Snag and Whiskers, Sean. Thank you for joining. Um, we're at Waldemere Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. Right now we're on their little steam train. It's going a little slower than it normally does, but that's okay. Hello, Pam's fam. Yeah, Pam, my phone died. So, yeah, I'm not having too much luck on the beach. We had lag in different spots. And then all of a sudden my phone died, which I knew it was going to, but there was no warning for it. So I hurried up and switched devices and started a new stream. We'll walk around the park and maybe I'll get on the sky ride here, but we want to try some other rides before the end of the evening. So I'll give you about a half hour or so more of the park, but I thank you for joining. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, it's much appreciated. And these are the picnic groves. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, Pam. I hope you guys are. I hope you and your family are doing well. There's a tunnel that goes up over a hill. a good idea some people like those relaxation so yeah maybe next time because I know I did a little bit of videoing down at the docks and along the beach a little bit I kind of do a relaxation video and I'll put that up some evening with some music and stuff I'll put that in my pocket whenever <laughs> when we get off there.
I'll probably see what the line for the skyline is or the more we can do the uh, Ferris wheel. And whatever you want to do, we'll, I'll end the stream then after that. So that way we could get on the log jammer and everything. Or the Thunder River. And ride the Comet. I gotta do that. Ride the Comet. Wacky Shack. Yeah. Or maybe we should see what the line is for the Wacky Shack. Garrett's favorite. Yeah. Welcome back, Candy Mom. Yes, at the end, my other device died on me. It just went completely black and it was done. So I turned this on so I could finish it for you guys. Maybe do one more ride. We'll see what the Sky Rides like line, or maybe we'll get in line for the Wacky Shack, which is a fun house type of ride. Then I'll probably end the stream. But I do thank you. I hope you guys are having a good Friday evening. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you, President Al Express. Please abandon the train coming through the window. Yes, it does. Yeah, I work with him. I think it's. I think it's. It's. There, I'll take it. Oh, you're welcome, Cynthia. Thank you for coming back and joining. Usually the train goes a little bit faster, but... It might be getting old, getting up there in age. So I went a little... There's a scrambler ride. There's bumper cars there. We'll go this way. <laughs> Hello, Mike B. Thank you for joining. We are at Waldemere Park. It's in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's right at the entrance of uh, Prescott State Park. And here are their hours for the park and their water park. Um, it's a cashless park. So if you have cash, you have to convert it to a, what they call a Wally card, or you can buy a ride all day, swim all day pass. Um, they have food, snacks, eat something so what would you want to eat okay yeah they have games they have snacks 
um, all kinds of different rides for families and kids. This park's been there for since I've been a kid. It's kind of grown because they put in the water park and added some different rides here and there. Oh, we gotta get the French waffles. Let me stop for a minute. I should get you a Wally car so you can go get the get what you want. Yeah, um, the Kennywood Park and all their parks are turning cashless this week, and all kinds of complaints from people about it. What do you think, Wacky Shack or the Sky Ride? Okay. And yeah, they had all kinds of complaints and stuff, Tony. And I think isn't Cedar Point cashless? It's kind of a pain in my opinion. I mean, I've gotten used to just putting out my debit card, but to give your kid money and then you can't even get that money back off the card if you don't use it. Now, granted, yeah, I go to Kennywood and add cards, but then make the, the amounts, dollar amounts, and not like $10.50, so then you're stuck with $10.50 or, you know, 50 cents left on the card. What'd you say? Oh, okay. Ah. Because that's just like, you know, when you buy gift cards, you get stuck with a small amount, or you forget the gift card. It's usually when I do the Wally card here, I'll finish it off and then I'll pay the rest on my uh, debit card or something. But this time around, we just bought bands, and then I'll use my um, I'll use my debit card when we go get something to eat. Unless they're on special circumstances. When you board the Skyrock, please stand on the red footprint inside the red box facing forward. If you are standing on the right hand side of the footprint, look over your right shoulder for the approaching seat. If you are standing on the left hand side of the footprint, look over your left shoulder for the approaching seat. As soon as the seat touches the back of the leg, please This will give you a little bit of a view of the lake when we come back. <laughs> that little kick I threw it in there. Poor little guy. Oh. <laughs> Not too many places have a sky ride. I think Hershey Park might still have their sky ride like this, but I'm not sure. The last time I was at Hershey, I believe it was still going. They used to have one where it was like gondolas, like Disney World had. Yeah, my eyesight is terrible. You want faster? But here we go! Hold on tight! Keep your hands inside the ride, please. Keep your hands inside the ride, please. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
a lot of the trees have grown up. Usually you can see all the way down this midway. But this kind of gives you an overview of the park. We'll get to see a little bit of the lake whenever um, we come back. They have like trucks. There's a parachute ride. There's the top of the comet. Okay, I wasn't sure if Bush Gardens had one. Oh, okay, Tony. Yeah, I wasn't sure because I kept looking like on your videos if they still had the, the sky ride there. The Cedar Point one's kind of nice, but it goes back about from the front of the midway towards the middle of the midway, which is nice. Saves your feet a little bit. Oh, okay. I remember that when I went to Bush Gardens years ago, Cynthia. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's understandable. I can understand that. I'm kind of used to this type of Skyway if you ride a ski lift. This is what this kind of is like. Yeah, this park sits like in the middle of, um, on, on the one side is like a cottage neighborhood where people have owned cottages or homes and then the lake is the backyard of it so they used to have access down to the beach years ago and then of course the roadway down to the peninsula <laughs> yeah Nah, but there's like the Scrambler, the Music Express, the Vortex ride, there's bumper cars. You can see the cottage neighborhoods over there. One of them is actually a gated cottage neighborhood, a gated community. And they actually have beach access because there was a video um, during one of the winters when the ice and water kind of went up onto some of the people's homes down by the beach. But I welcome everyone in. I'm Amy of AJC Magic TV. We are at Waldemere Park. It is located in Erie, Pennsylvania, um, right outside of uh, Point State or Prescott State Park. And this is a family amusement park it's been here for many years you can buy a ride all day pass they have a water park here so you can get the combo pass to do the water park and the amusements or just the amusements um, we do have an earlier stream where we were down by the beaches on the, on Prescott State Park and a drive-through I know there's some lag on there but um, we did our best with that, and now we're just enjoying a little bit of the park. <laughs> yeah, AJC. <laughs> it's it's funny because now um, a lot of them, like Tommy and Stacy of Living the Magic, does that now, and Kellen, <laughs> and Zach still does that. <laughs> Oh, wow, you got the history there, Ian B. Good research, Ian. 1896. 
I know I came here as a little kid. It wasn't as big as this. They've added a lot of rides, but there are some rides that are still here since I was a kid. Our team does that every time she sees her name. <laughs> That's funny that Tracy and Zach got everybody to do that now. We're turning around. This time you might get to see a little bit of the lake view. They have an older carousel. Um, I believe they have two sea dragons on there. But they don't have an organ. They have more of a piped in music. And Star 104. And then there's another radio station. It looked like that sponsor different things here at the park that are from Erie. The only thing that's going against me now is the gimbal is slowly dying. Hopefully we'll get to the wacky shack before the before the gimbal dies out here. One of the unique things about the ravine flyer is is they fly the Canadian flag and the American flag since Lake Erie is international waters since um, Canada and the United States share Lake Erie. So they fly the Canadian flag and the American flag up there. Kind of like some of the hockey rinks that I've um, been around, like some of the local hockey rinks in my town fly the Canadian and American flags. Uh, thank you, Pam. Yeah, I, I actually was charging the gimbal in the car, but we've been using the gimbal a lot that I kept forgetting to plug it back in while we were driving in the car, and that was about the, with the phone, too. Well, you can see the lake off in the distance there. And I know when Tony goes to Cedar Point, he's actually on the Ohio part of Lake Erie, and that's where a lot of the islands are. This part of Lake Erie goes up to Buffalo, New York and down over the falls. That was the one thing when I was a kid, didn't want to drift away because I didn't want to get sucked in. Yeah, rookie mistakes there. The, the Ferris wheel would give good views too, up over there, but there's a lot of trees that are growing up over there. Oh, wow, that's a long time. I know I haven't been there in a long time, though, too, Pam. It's been a, quite a while. In fact, I think Penguin Master's sister was about her age the last time I went. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Yeah, on this part of the area, you don't see that. But I'm sure different parts you would see the New York's, um, the New York, um, like shoreline and stuff. Because it's really probably about a half hour to an hour up the road to the state of New York. Okay, Pam. A Michigan Adventure Park. There goes the 
the ravine flyer. It goes up that hill, goes down across the road, and does a loop there, and then comes back across the road, the ravine flyer. They have some kitty rides down there and everything. <laughs> and Tracy didn't make the drive the right way. Nah. Now I gotta go back out to Kennywood because I think they're starting a nighttime show at Kennywood. Welcome in this Noah's Adventure. Thank you for joining. tricky to get off those things. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, let's go over to the Wacky Shack. Or do you think we should do the Ferris wheel? Wacky Shack. So they have this white bot ride. There's no way I could ride this ride. I'd be totally sick if I was on that ride there. The white bot. And then there's the spider octopus ride. I haven't heard that song in ages. This ride has been here for a very long time. The Wacky Shack. It's kind of a fun little fun house ride. It's kind of bumpy though too. But we're going to get in line for the Wacky Shack. There's the Tilda World. No, not yet. We're going to go eat after we end the stream here. I, I could get her some, some of the food here in a moment, and then I'll walk you guys around. Yeah, I like the Tilda World. As long as it doesn't spin too, too bad. But sometimes that thing will go fast. We'll go over to the refreshments. You can decide what you want, and then I'll walk around just to give them a little more thing. Because 
We have one dot left on the gimbal. <laughs> yeah. The tilt a hurl. <laughs> it's then they have one of those drop towers over there called the Extreme Tower. There's a walkthrough called the Pirate's Cove. Then they have a log ride called the Thunder River. That's a fun ride. They don't really want you filming on the rides, though. Like those rides, like the coasters and stuff. Yeah, if any of you guys know Garrett, message him because he likes the wacky shop. And we're getting ready to go on it. <laughs> Thank you all for joining this Friday evening. I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're watching the replay, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite amusement rides are or what favorite amusement park that you like to go to. Um, also, consider subscribing if you're new. Check out all our other videos. Um, we go to Disney World on occasion. We go to you know, um, different places around Orlando, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. Yeah, maybe. Thank you, Pam. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It does help out our channel. And thanks for being patient because I know we had an earlier earlier some lag and then the phone dying and you guys jump right back in. So I do appreciate it. Because I know you could be doing other things on a Friday night or watching others. That's weird, a line for the Pirates Cove. <laughs>
With your arms still attached. I will stop and get Penguin Master some food here. Then down there is pizza, I think. That's pizza and that's chicken nuggets and fries and stuff. Okay. I'll give you my car. Here, take that orange card out of there. Thank you. There's a combo meal. Let me see what I what. Yeah. Get the combo meal. I'll eat the cheesy breadsticks. And then get me a regular Pepsi or whatever. Because we'll need an extra one. Or just a small one for me, a Pepsi. Okay. Uh, thank you. Have a good night, Ian. Enjoy watching the game. Yeah, Pam. Um, yeah, they have cotton candy, nachos, pretzels. Here's a good snack that I really like over here. Um, they're French waffles. There's funnel cakes. 
But they have French waffles over here that are really delicious. I'll show them to you. And they put powdered sugar on them. Like these. And then they put them in a bag and put powdered sugar in them, on them. And they're really delicious. I think this side was where the cotton candy and candy apples and popcorn and everything is. Thank you for joining Ian. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. There's some other rides there. Every once in a while, Pam, I have to get that cotton candy because it's just it, it delicious there. Yeah, some really good snacks and foods. Get back to where Penguins is. I hope she knew I just walked around the block. That's all. Then they have ice cream here also. When we had really good ice cream, it's called Whippy Dip. It's a lake. It's an Erie, Pennsylvania staple. Whippy Dip. If you just want a piece, that's a you know whatever. Hey, I'll get a pretzel. That's it. What? Give me one. Yeah, get that and then give me a small Pepsi. Pepsi. Come over to a table. You jumped out of the truck. That, that was me. And you. Let your people watch. <laughs> we had friends of the family that owned fair concession stands. We always got elephant ears and cotton candy, pizza, holy sausage, fish. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Looks like a fun place all around. Yes, it is, Candy Bomb. I, I've, I've really enjoyed this park since I was a kid. And I always like coming here whenever I come up to Erie. I'll turn the camera this way, move it back. That way you can see. It is fun. Um, we'll take a look at the log ride. And maybe we'll walk through the one found house before the gimbal dies. We'll see. But I do thank everyone for coming and joining today. This is like their cheesy breadsticks. <laughs> Maybe we'll people watch a little bit. Wow. Eating, but you can watch the paratrooper ride. Oh, so that, I know there's no cables over that way. Like, they could have watched that one ride there.
Okay, Pam. What did you want to ride next? Thunder River? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of awesome to take up the Yeah. If I could take the stream on comment, which I don't think I can, I would go there. Because the line's not too long. in the gift shop. I'll walk through the gift shop and then we'll do Pirates Cove unless you want to get on something. Because you can go ahead and get on something. Hello, Paul Vines. Welcome in. Just kind of people watching while we finish our food. We should go do the um, Ferris wheel. And then I'll end the stream there. I should have just called that white pizza. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, we are finished. We'll walk through the gift shop. And we're going to go over to the Ferris wheel. And then we'll probably end the stream after the Ferris wheel. Only because I do only have one dot left on the on the gimbal. These are a cute truck ride. You can ride them with your kids. Just to give you an idea. A lot of dads on there with their sons. Hello, Coaster Mom. Welcome in. This is Waldemir Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. Waldemere Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, they sell hats. They have all kinds of hats over here that you can purchase. But there's the name of the park. And it's in Erie, Pennsylvania. Sits right outside the gates of Prescott State Park. And it's been here since 18... 96. Then they carry your typical water bottles, mugs, glasses, all kinds of t-shirts. There's a ravine flyer t-shirt. Ah, thank you. They actually have a they have a wacky shack t-shirt. That's nice. I should, I don't know, penguins sell that. Did you see the Wacky Shack t-shirt? And then there's some Watermere Park t-shirts. And Watermere, um, they have Watermere Park and Water World. So um, you can come here for the water park if you spend the whole day. We'll go out this other door here. And they sell candy, um, you know, your typical stuff. There's some mugs, glasses, and then some beach wear because you're right by the Lake Erie Prescott State Park where you can go swimming. And so they have like the lifeguard stuff and everything. <clears throat> then your typical magnets and stuff like that. Different magnets. These ones have letters of your name and then your beach souvenirs that you find at any gift shops there i remember those as kids where they had the, the ships in the bottle and stuff yeah it's, this is a really nice gift shop they have some really nice stuff merchandise here beach theme and then your some sunblock and stuff in case you need it I think they have a gift shop over by the the water park. There's some hoodies and dog merchandise, beach merchandise. And then some sweatshirts. They, yeah, some of this stuff you can find like on the boardwalks down in on the beaches and stuff like the various uh, wind chimes and stuff. There's an Elvis one. So yeah, they have a good, good stack of different merchandise, some kids' merchandise and stuff. Ah, okay. But that's the gift shop there. All right, take a walk over to the Ferris wheel. You'll get a really good look at the lake. Or I should actually have you vote. As the sun sets here. <clears throat> but this will probably be the last ride we show. Because there's a couple of the other rides we want to get on. Before um, the park closes at 9. So... We want to get on a couple of the rides where I can't stream on before the park closes at 9 p.m. But I'd like to at least show you a couple of the rides. You can see the lake a little bit. Okay. 
There's like a little kid coaster. <laughs> Let me sit face in the park. Oh, that's the side I want to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was... That way I can see the lake. Yeah. <clears throat> this way you guys can get the lake view. And the sunset. There's the lake. This actually is moving fast. <laughs> there are some views. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Phone can't be completely dead. I kind of wanted to give you a different view, but that way you could see other parts of the park. Get a picture before. <laughs> But there's a beautiful sunset happening over that way. There's the lake. More down the peninsula over there. Then we have the park view that way. That way you can get a good view. Careful with your phone hanging
girl. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, I had a little bit of Ah, uh, yes, it was uh, candy bomb. Oh, the eggs are on that side. <laughs> Air grab this for a second. Oh, jeez. I guess it was kind of crazy. Oh, you see me just standing. Yeah. <laughs> But that was the Ferris wheel ride. I hope you like the views. Had some really good views up there. We'll walk over towards the Wacky Shack and we'll end our evening. There's some other rides over here. They have the swings, teacups, a SS Wally -E boat that kind of spins around and stuff. They have one of those at Kennywood for the kids. The SS Kenny, I always liked riding that with my nieces and nephews when they were little. The SS Kenny, that's the SS Wally. Then they have teacups over there. And swings. Now you have to go through there. <laughs> Should have went that way. <laughs> There's a sea dragon ride. They also have a balloon ride for kids over there, plus the roller coaster. So if you ever find yourself in Western Pennsylvania, this is Northwestern, straight north of Pittsburgh, about two and a half to three hour drive, depending on traffic and construction. Um, you have the beaches of Prescott State Park and Lake Erie. Um, you can come here to the Waldemar Water Park. They have boat tour rides. Then you can go on either from downtown Erie at the um, State Street Boat Docks or on Prescott State Park. I, as a kid, this was one of our um, vacation spots. We would come here a lot as a kid. They have the water park here. They also have an indoor water park called Splash Lagoon. And they have a wave pool and different things inside. Oh no, Candy Mom. But that's okay, because we're probably going to go ahead and end the stream. Um, we've been going for a couple hours now. And the park closes in about an hour. And there's a few rides that we want to check out that I really can't stream on. And we kind of want to get on and do them while we're here before the park closes but I do thank everyone for joining us I'll give you a, um, a good view of Thunder River there's no one in line for the Pirates Cove so we'll go ahead and walk through Pirates Cove and then I'll show you Thunder River and that's where I'll end the stream and there's the steel dragon coaster that spins around um, you could sit in the back of the car or the front and it spins you around and everything. But there's the steel dragon.
penguins. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Crazy fun house. So you can see the room that's kind of sideways. Sorry if it's dark in here. I'll give you a picture of the room here. So you can see. Almost walked into the wall. <laughs> There's a I ended up hitting the wall, which was kind of stupid. Now the gimbal's kind of wacky. I ran into the wall. Okay. Okay, that was a fun adventure. I ran into the one mirror and I knocked the gimbal for a ride. I'll show you this steel dragon coaster. Are you gonna ride that? As I walk over and then we'll do that. Okay. Let me show them the steel dragon real quick. But this is kind of like um, your, what that um, dinosaur ride was over in D Dino land that they took out. See how it twists around. And then this is the Thunder River ride. And it has two hills, a baby hill. And then they have a bigger hill 
which we'll walk through, and then I'm gonna end the stream. And then here is the Extreme Tower. The Extreme Tower. But I'll show you this ride. And then, like I said, there's the Steel Dragon. The Thunder River Ride. Probably should have sat in the front but so they could see it, but I don't want to. I probably should have sat in the front, but that's okay. And I'll probably still get soaked. <laughs> Feels good, though, on this hot day. I think that Rainbow Gardens, they used to have dances and different things inside there. But now they don't use it really for anything. Keep us down. <laughs> Here comes the big hill. Oh. 
my feet are so bad. Nice view of the lake. Let's hold on as this boat goes flying. Plus, we'll get soaked. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. But there was Thunder River, everyone. We'll see what our picture looks like. See what our picture looks like. Oh, wow, that's cute. <laughs> and they're over. Oh, too far. <laughs> Want a keychain? What? Okay. Hey, we'll watch this a little bit. You can actually get quarters or tokens and splash people with the water bombs. But that was a fun ride. Got cooled off a little bit. We'll watch one of the logs come down. There's kids there with the water bombs. I hope you enjoyed your time watching us here at Waldemere Park. But we'll go over here. We'll go over to the Wacky Shack. We'll ride that one more time. And then we're gonna say good night. And I do thank everyone for joining. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And also leave a comment if you watch the um, replay and let me know what your favorite amusement park is. And I hope you guys all had a great evening watching. It has been a fun night, fun afternoon, and I appreciate you all in here watching. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button. But we'll do the wacky shot one more time to end our evening. My problem is I slid from the back all the way up to the behind you on that. Yeah, when that water kind of came back, I was like, oh. But also, if you're holding the camera, so you couldn't really hold Yeah. So it's a good thing I did go in the front. Yeah, I was thinking I probably should have sat in the front, but then I wouldn't have been able to get in and out of there easily. Yeah. You should video the ride if this time around. Yeah.
Now I want to go over to the comment. But I'd like to do that again, River of Thunder again. And I'll put this away. Oh, she watching the stream. Can I sit on the right and you can sit on the left? Yeah, I kind of forgot. I want to talk about it. I just want to talk about it. Why isn't Colton watching my stream? <laughs> this is the famous Total World Rider, Total World, and the Extreme Tower over there. shock again we did the thunder river already and we figured we'll do the wacky shock one more time before we end the stream so thank you for coming back Pam we did the Paris Cove and the Thunder River sorry you have to watch the uh, wacky shock again but it's one of our favorites Maybe we'll do the sky ride one more time. Oh, 
Let's go do I'm gonna do the sky ride again. Do you wanna if you're gonna go do something? Oh no, I'll do sky ride. Okay. We'll do the sky ride one more time while the sun is setting. See what the line's like. Because we still need to get on the Comet and pick up a couple snacks for the road home. So, once we're done with the sky ride, this will be it. And don't forget to check out Monarch Moments. I think it's Fun Food Friday. So they're probably going live this evening for Fun Food Friday. But I'm not totally sure. I haven't seen... Don't know if I've seen a thumbnail or not, but check out Monarch Moments. Check out This Our Dreams over the weekend. Once you are here, the operator will place the lap bar over your head. One, the operator will lift the lap bar over your head. Please move quickly to the right, following the red arrow, and into the skyline. Remember, arrow will work. <laughs> yep. I figure it's a good ride for the sunset. Good way to end the evening with you guys. With everyone. Um, Amy of AJC Magic TV. This is Waldemere Park. It's in Erie, Pennsylvania. 
Um, it's located right at the entrance of Presque Isle State Park. You can't miss it. There's a water park here, amusements, snacks, all kinds of food, and a good bit of rides here. And it's great family fun. So you can bring your young ones and your old kids. After this, I'm going to the commenters or something else you want to do? No, no, no. The extreme tower? No. Why not? <laughs> oh, I want to do that other ride too. Yeah. So we'll go there first and comment. Because I'll probably do the comment a couple times. They actually have a potato patch here too. Potato patch fries, fresh cut fries. There's an Aladdin ride, magic carpet ride over there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, they wanted to be on. <laughs> We had some fans that wanted to say hello. <laughs> and there's also games you can play. They have an arcade and just some other games there. Sometimes we play the games, but a lot of times we just get the snacks and ride the rides. Hello. I knew I was coming up there again, I would get that pass. Because yeah. it would be worth it. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I don't know why the train was going a little slower than normal. Probably a new driver. I mean, I'm not complaining, well, but it's that, just. But now you got the wacky shack flying. Yeah. And the Ferris wheel went pretty fast. I was surprised. Yeah. I just always forget how stuff goes because it's not like I'm on it all the time. Yeah. So when I get on things, I'm like, geez. So over there is like a cottage community or homes. Some people use them as a second home. Others live here all year round. <clears throat> Not too many par um, hotels in this area down by the park. There used to be years ago, mom and pop hotels, motels. Now you kind of have to stay up on Peach Street or down at the Bay at the Sheraton and there's a Hampton Inn and a courtyard by Marriott or up by the Mill Creek Mall. There's uh, a few hotels in the area. There's like one other hotel that's a little bit, couple streets up, but it's called, um, it's owned by Best Western. It started off as a nice Hampton Inn and then the Comfort Inn and then um, now Best Western has taken it over. And that's like the closest motel a hotel in the area. It used to be a lot of mom and pop hotels around, but they've gotten bought up by Waldemere and various other companies. And if you want really good ice cream, and I'm sure Jeff, this our dreams will agree, whippy dip ice cream. It's very good, creamy. They actually have 
the original one in town and then they did build a whippy dip two which is up the road from this park we might stop there on our way home if it's still open and then they have a like a chaos ride there i they call it the voltron right the voltron it's something like that it's a little bit steeper though That one goes higher than the Cosmic Chaos. Yeah, I think so. Now we'll get some sunset views. Oh, I bet you it was good. That used to be one of their old carousel buildings. Now it's a picnic pavilion. Old Watermere Park. And there's the sunset over the lake. That's one thing penguins and I should do. Do our last couple rides and go down to one of the beaches there real quick to see the water again. Before the sun. Yeah, it is pretty. That's the one thing I like the sky ride for and the Ferris wheel with the pretty views and the sunset. Like I said, when I was a kid, we would spend all morning, all afternoon, and then till, till about five, six o'clock after we cooked our dinner. And then head back to our hotel and come over here for a little bit or swim at the hotel pool. Because we used to stay right up the road here at one of the mom and pop hotels that actually Waldemere bought the property and now it's part of their water park. I kind of wish this park stayed open until 10 and then 9 o'clock, but that's okay. I know there was a couple other parks we like to try and visit this summer. We have to look at our schedules and everything. Yeah, there are a lot of hotels up here that have the indoor pools, Pam. Um, we plus there's an indoor water park here also and if you get one of their packages with the three four hotels that are right in there and have agreements with the hotels you can get tickets to the water park there if you buy one of the packages so you can do the indoor water park but then i know the comfort inn has a swimming pool and a hotel that's next door to it um i think it's called the hawthorne suites they have an indoor pool also because there was times after we were done at um, Splash Lagoon and then we would come down to the beach, we would jump in the pool there. And I know one time we were up so early at the opening of the indoor water park, we had the place practically to ourselves for about an hour before the regular public got in. But there would be times like we would go down to the beach and then just jump in the pool at the hotel. Ah, okay. Yeah, I could see that being boring then. Yeah, they, at the indoor water park there, they have a lazy river, but I think it doesn't go around too far either it's not too long but they do have inner tube slides but you do have to climb all the steps so it does get tiring I like all the lights that are coming on with the sunset and everything 
You gonna ride the ravine flyer? Probably should. Yeah, you probably should. But you can see the lake off in the distance. It's relaxing. What time is it? I don't know. Do you know what time it is, Pam? Yeah, yeah, true, Pam. Okay, thank you, Pam. 8.34. Yeah, we're going to end the stream when we get off here. We'll walk down because I want to hit up the Comet. Penguins wants to hit up that coaster straight ahead of us. I usually want to ride it, but it's a little too rough for me. I use, sometimes we'll ride it, but once I get on it, I'm like, why did I do this? Because it just bangs you around. Because it goes really fast after it'll, it'll start up that hill slow, but then it really flies. <laughs> Give you a little Ferris wheel action. So I'm going to go over to the Comet. Penguins is going to go on the Ravine Flyer. And that's where we'll end the stream, right by the Ravine Flyer. Because so I'm going to grab the um, waffle things before I get on the Comet. Thank you. Let's see how it goes. And then all of a sudden it goes really quick up the hill. And it really flies around. Hey, jo Jolene, wait a minute. I'm gonna end the stream. And then I'll meet you at the Comet. So I don't know if you want to end the stream with me or not. Okay. Okay. Well, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Penguins is going on the Ravine Flyer. And I got a couple of things I need to do. So thank you for joining me this evening. Joining both of us here at Waldemere Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, I hope you had a great evening. Um, go check out Monarch Moments if they're going live for Fun Food Fridays. And I do thank you for joining us for both of our streams and everything. Uh, thank you, Pam. Yeah, that one boat ride. Yeah, that kind of, I'm not too crazy about that. But yes, um, thank you for that. Thank you for joining us. And it's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you're watching the replay. And if you haven't already done so, being in the chat. So thank you very much. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Let the adventures begin. This is AJC Magic TV. Good night, everyone, and see you later. Bye, everyone. And if Monarch Moments is on, go check them out at 9 p.m. or 9.30 p.m. if they are doing Fun Food Fridays. So good night, everyone. Good night, Pam.
and thank you very much for joining. Good night. Bye. Yeah.